Hi, welcome to the Weekly Dose on Arm. I'm Gabriel, and I'll be showing you a bit of what happened this week, April 5th to April 11th, 2024, in the world on Arm. Links will be provided to everything I talk about in the description below. Jen's Maker Adventures introduces a Tamagotchi care robot equipped with a kill mode. This device is designed to automate the care of a Tamagotchi, the beloved virtual pet, ensuring it receives optimal care through stages of growth from egg to adulthood. The robot, built without modifying the original Tamagotchi hardware, utilizes servos controlled by a Raspberry Pi to interact with the Tamagotchi, pressing buttons to feed, play with, and care for the virtual pet. The project also incorporates computer vision, enabling the Raspberry Pi to recognize the Tamagotchi's needs and respond accordingly, all showcased through a user-friendly touchscreen interface. Ashley Whitaker on RaspberryPi.com looks at the Cyberduck hat and bonnet by Adafruit, designed for the Raspberry Pi 400. These devices transform the Raspberry Pi 400 into a CyberDeck, featuring Stemma connectors for peripherals like NeoPixels or speakers. These add-ons help with the customization of your Pi 400 workspace. On the radar front, Al Williams on Hackaday features a do-it-yourself 6 GHz pulse compression radar by Henrik. Henrik's project steps away from the traditional continuous wave radar to embrace pulse compression, allowing for improved object resolution and range. He opted for a direct conversion receiver and minimal filtering to cut costs and uses a Zinc FPGA with an onboard dual-core ARM CPU. Also in Hackaday, Christina Panos writes about the Conacord, a macro pad for Japanese input that introduces a novel approach to language input. This device, powered by a Raspberry Pi Pico, uses cords to input kana characters, helping to go from traditional typing to the complexities of the Japanese writing system. The builder is said to be working on a plus version with support for over 6,000 kanji characters. Google just announced their first ARM-based cloud CPU, the Google Axiom. These promised unmatched performance and energy efficiency for data center operations. The Axiom processor, leveraging ARM's Neoverse V2, offers up to 60% better power efficiency and up to 50% more performance over off-the-shelf x86 processors. Check the link in the video description to read the official announcement and learn more. And for some additional information in video form, Gary Explains has a video that gives a brief rundown about the Google Axiom in a format that provides a bit more context and the higher level about where the processor stands. If you don't have a need for the gritty details at this moment, this is a useful video to stay up to date on ARM in the cloud. And also on raspberrypi.com, Ashley Whitaker presents a wooden internet kitchen radio powered by a Raspberry Pi 4 and a DigiAmp Plus hat. It's built using impressive woodworking skills, which results in a beautifully designed kitchen radio that offers more than just audio playback. Equipped with a touchscreen interface and powered by Mood Audio software, this would be a great project for someone to emulate and add the ability to respond to voice commands. Thanks for watching. Links to all the stories talked about here can be found in the description. Make sure to sign up for our developer program, join our Discord, and join our subreddit to keep up to date with the world on ARM. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, a thumbs down if you hate it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come back for more next week. Later!